All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video, and today we are here on Pandora at the Slaughter Shaft. As you guys can see here, and today I am trying to farm the boss. Uh, what's his name? It's like Titan or whatever, because he drops, well, he drops the Shred of Fire, the Eruption, the Tiny Tina Hippity Hopper, and something else. I've been trying to get the Shred of Fire for like three days. No luck. So yeah, uh, this video might be on the Shred of Fire or whatever drops. I don't know yet. So I will cut and come back to when Titan does spawn. So we got the, we got the shred of fire to drop, not from the uh, dedicated source, but instead from a, a random mob. Crystal cave. Yep. So just in case the uh, boss guy doesn't drop it, I am going to pick that one up as soon as I can because my inventory is full and there is a bunch of uh, enemies around me. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. I get some fun soon. All right, and Titan has spawned. Uh, and what is this? Oh, he can also drop the butcher. Let me just clear out the rest of these guys. Should I do it on the butcher or the shred of fire? Um, I'm not too sure. I might just reuse this footage for both. Uh, but what can I get rid of? All these weapons on here are pretty much for flak. Um, Good question. It's a good question. What can I get rid of? I guess for now, let's just get rid of the Rowan's Call, considering that wasn't originally on here. Okay, yeah, but we're going to do today's episode on the Shred of Fire because I don't have a Butcher thumbnail ready. So I know it technically didn't drop from him, but you get it from him. There it is. I'm all out of ammo too. That's uh, that's not good. So let's take a look at it. Flat off, okay. Flat off symbol. It says flat off actually. Gold and wood. Gold and wood. Okay. And it's red text is speed kills. So what that means is this weapon has greatly decreased spool time. Basically means like when the barrel spins. Uh, it has greatly increased magazine size and fire rate, but it has slightly reduced damage. Huh. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm. But its fire rate can go, wow, 17 per second pretty much. Rifle and bipod, huh? <gasps> All right, it feels a little bit faster once you have that bipod out. So yeah, let us go and use it out on some bad guys. All right, so I am here at Carnivora, and I don't know why that mission just failed considering I completed it. Oh, because I didn't turn it in. But never mind. Uh, also earlier, when I was picking up the Shred of Fire, if you guys heard something, that was me watching a Distortion 2 stream because uh, it's boring otherwise just you know, mobbing like that. So yeah, uh, if you guys heard that, I apologize. But like I said, we are here at Carnivora. Shredder fire, okay. Uh, Revolter, Bounty Hunter. 
pretty much it's a Gorillas in the Mist flak build. So let's see how it does. We're going to use the rifle. Is it fire? Okay, it is fire. That's why I was like, why is it doing so bad on the shields? So yeah, mainly because this flak has Megavore, you're going to be doing good damage. Added with the pearl and whatnot. Yeah, we pretty much just... I don't, like, I wouldn't say rip through enemies, but it does pretty good. All things considering, as you guys can see. So now let's go into bipod mode, if I can stay alive. And yeah. So let us go and use it out on a boss, and we're going to use it on everyone's favorite boss, that being... Graveward. Okay, he's going to tilt the platform like always. I'm going to go into bipod mode, not aim for the crit spot on purpose, even though it might really not matter with Flak, considering he has Megavore. Okay, now if we go for the crit spot. And then, let's say we do something, I don't know, like, Gorillas in the Mist. And yeah, because you can fire so many shots off, Gorillas in the Mist is pretty much perfect for this. So yeah, if you do have a Shred of Fire, it's probably going to be the best on Flak if you're doing a uh, crit build. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel and I will appreciate it like always. And I know it was a little bit weird, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Things just sort of worked out like that. Uh, also, let me know if I used this weapon correctly. If I did not use it correctly, make sure to tell me, be like, hey, you used it wrong because of this and that. What you should have done is this and that instead. So yeah, all I really can say now is I hope to see you guys later.